Hey what's up guys this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Arun's Kitchen in which we teach Photoshop, Photography, Lightroom, Illustrator, After Effects, Graphic Designing, Logo Designing, VFX. So very quickly make a new file, click on new, new. then you have the width 1366, height 768, so resolution 72 and I have one preset. Uh, this is brick and even download it from the description of this video. Uh, firstly, I will apply this here directly on here. Okay, that's fine. So this is very very cool tutorial. Okay, that's fine. And uh, that's fine. And I uh, will. Even you can change the direction of this brush. Like this. Very cool effect we are getting. That's fine. That's very cool. Okay, now take your portrait. Uh, so this is my image. I want to use it on my project. Double click there uh, to unlock this layer. Uh, choose this move tool and drag it to my this paint splash file. Okay, now go to image adjustments. I want to make it black, black and white. Click on OK. Move it to down. Close it. Okay. Now make a new layer and fill it with white so inactive this select this paint splash layer i want to select the black portion only to get selection go to select then color range in color range i want to cover up all the gray and uh, black portion so that i have set its fusiness value to 200 now click on ok you will get the selection and inactive this layer okay now select this white layer and uh, Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl Shift I now hit on mask. Now you have the mask. Uh, this is my portrait image. Uh, right click on there and uh, convert it to smart object. Ctrl T to transform it uh, so that we can make it bigger. That's fine. Okay. Mm, Ctrl 0 to fill it with screen on the full screen. Sorry. Mm. No, I'm ready. Control set. Now this is my uh, portrait. I want to put smile special effect to it. Go to file, then next software, then color effects. So I am in the color effects. I want to boost uh, this uh, detail extraction. Okay. Uh, add some more filter and cross balance. I will try. Okay. Mm okay leave all these other things now click on ok now you have something like this before after okay now make a new layer on there and again choose uh, but uh, I think I should go further with a different thing uh, go to adjustment layer then gradient then we have this gradient that's nice now click on ok and you can set its blend mode to screen even you can do it okay mm. click on ok and okay click on ok click on ok again go to this layer and i will try to do uh, some play with the
okay that's fine it's looking cool set its menu to screen and I will try also this blue shade screen okay now it's looking cool so I think you enjoy this video and keep in touch with us on YouTube as well as on Facebook thank you friends keep watching our creation